Hi, I'm Big Cal, and welcome to my world. Today is the first of my PlayStation Classic mini reviews, where every two days I'll be doing a very mini review of each of the 20 built in games of the PlayStation Classic. So these reviews are not quite full reviews, they are only based on the maybe 20 to 30 minutes I will play of each game. So just keep that in mind uh, when you watch the rest of the videos. So let's get started with the first. First game. Battle Arena Toshiden was first released on September 29th 1995 in PAL regions and it is a 3D weapons based fighting game. Despite getting great reviews upon release, having played the game for the first time here in 2019, I can't really come up with many positive comments. The 3D polygon characters don't actually look that bad for such an early PlayStation game, which is a pretty impressive feat as so many great games from this generation do not hold up well visually at this time. The gameplay sadly is where everything falls apart. It's slow, clunky, with terrible slow and clunky controls and that weird floaty jumping that for some reason all early 3D fighting games have. There is no satisfaction in landing hits as the game never truly feels like it's responding to your button commands. I assume the game has special moves for each character but I tried numerous combinations that would work in various other fighting games and nothing seemed to do anything. Maybe it's the sluggish controls, or maybe special moves simply don't work that way here. Gameplay modes seem non-existent with just one player to face the CPU, uh, one after the other, like a, a typical ladder uh, tournament -y thing like Mortal Kombat, or a two-player mode where you can face off against each other. Maybe I missed something, but honestly, I couldn't care less. I played a couple of fights and hated every second I spent with this game. Some people may feel nostalgia for this one and are happy it was included on the PlayStation Classic, but I have zero nostalgia for it and as a result I thought it was awful. This gets my recommendation of Avoid, especially considering there's another 3D fighting game on the PlayStation Classic that is probably going to hold up much better. So thanks for watching, I'll see you again in two days time with the next mini review for Cool Borders 2.